Welcome to Rainbow Racer. Let's jump right into the gameplay demonstration. The player moves with the mouse, which is our only control. You want to get to the top level of the rainbow, so you go up color by color, starting at violet here. Now to get to the top, you need to get energy. The more energy you get, the higher the level you'll reach. Now the first way to get energy is by going through these energy gates. The faster you hit the gate, the more energy you'll gain. But don't go too fast, or you'll end up losing control. The next way to get energy is by sapping it from these energy rails. The closer you get to the rail, the more energy you'll gain. Get too close though, and you may hit the rail and lose energy. The last way to gain energy is simply by moving forward. If you move forward on the screen, you'll start gaining energy at a consistent rate. But you'll also lose a lot of reaction time. Can you keep up? Now, right now, we're on Violet, the practice level. Once we hit our first checkpoint, the game starts in earnest, and there's a real possibility of failure. The more often we get hit, the more damage our ship takes, and the more energy we lose each time we get hit. If we let our energy dip too low, like this, we'll have to use one of our three suns to replenish our energy a bit and heal our ship. If we run out of suns, however, then we'll lose the game. The color of the cloud indicates if you have a checkpoint on this level. If you do, and you run out of energy, you'll lose a sun. If you don't, you'll just fall through to the previous level. That's about it as far as gameplay explanation goes. There are more subtle things about the gameplay and strategies that you can discover, but those shouldn't be explained away. As far as technical details go, Rainbow Racer was written on the XNA framework. It has a custom GPU-based particle system capable of displaying around a million independent particles at a time. We also have custom cell shaders that use a step function for the diffuse light shading, and backface shell expansion for the outline. Now, those are the only interesting technical details. Everything else is just boring code. Anyway, I hope you enjoy playing Rainbow Racer as much as I did bringing it to life. Play on. Oh.